Hi everyone, it's Bishvez from Evil Genius Sports Performance, and I'd like to welcome you to a new segment of the video blog, uh, a segment I'm going to call Brotastic Myths and Lies. And in this segment, I am going to attack or discuss one growing broism and bro science nonsensical data point. Um, uh, as with all things, usually these are uh, these sorts of attacks by, by me are are brought on by a specific incident, but I was just dealing with a client and um, the uh, the ever growing broism that uh, diet is everything. Diet is everything. I'd rather miss a workout than miss a meal. Diet is everything. Uh, I remember in the early '80s when I got started in all this, um, diet was an issue, of course. Um, it was known pretty solidly that diet impacted performance, but diet was not everything. Training was everything. Um, and then, to a growing degree, uh, it became drugs were everything. Um, and, uh, and now we're at a stage where it, it, diet is everything. Um, and I have to tread carefully because I do make a certain amount of my living, you know, evil genius sports performance, uh, do dispense you know, paid information for sports performance diet plans and, and, and nutritional tricks and of the trade to get to a, a higher level. Uh, but we have to be reasonable. We have to be rational. Diet is not everything. Um, I remember from reading something from the early 70s where Arthur Jones, who uh, famously was said many famous things, but uh, a, a quote I remember from him was, um, diet is only 100% of the game if you haven't eaten in a week. And I'm going to have to fall back. I'm going to have to defer to the, the great mind of Arthur. Um, that's about the, about the truth of it. Um, the way I was going to make my point today was uh, to perform a thought experiment, uh, something that many of the world's greatest physicists use are, are thought experiments. They, they create very simple parameters in their mind, um, like setting up an experiment in a lab, and they, and they just run forward through time and see what would happen. And uh, to, to, in, in, this, in this train of thought, I'm going to say, take two identical twins, two males, say age 18, 160 or so pounds, uh, and they're identical. They're identical people. Um, and you give one the brotastically perfect bodybuilding diet. Your micros, your macros, they're getting this much carbs, this much protein. They're eating so many times a day. They have a perfect brotastic diet. And then you give the other a sensible, effective weight training workout. He's going to squat and do a little accessory work on Monday. He's going to bench and do a little accessory work on Wednesday and say deadlift and some accessory work on Friday. Three days a week, hour, hour and a half at a time versus his brother who's eating perfectly 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Run that experiment forward, say, six weeks, eight weeks, 12 weeks. At the end of 12 weeks, you weigh them. And you might see a mild, favorable body composition change in the the brother that ate the perfect diet, because good health tends to make good results. So, you know, he may have thrown a half a pound or even perhaps a pound of muscle. It's believable. It's probably an exaggeration, but it's believable. And his health may be very good. He have no infections. He probably looked very good, uh, probably feel very good. But now look at the other brother who weight trained for the first time in his life, effectively, sensibly, for 12 weeks. You're probably going to see a gain of, oh, I don't know, four, five, six, ten pounds conceivably. Okay, Diet is not everything. Obviously, diet is not everything. You could even take that same experiment and add a third identical twin. I know that doesn't happen, but we could, we could say. We have three identical twins, and one gets a workout, one gets a diet, and one gets, oh, I don't know, a thousand milligrams a week of testosterone. And you would find, yet again, lo and behold, you would find that the diet brother did not win the race, did not gain the most muscle, did not make the most favorable changes in body composition. I'm not promoting drugs here. I'm not trying to sell everyone and run out and buy testosterone. I'm just trying to point out that it clearly is the case that diet is not everything. Diet is important because with good diet comes good health. And with good health comes the ability to perform well. You cannot succeed in sports without good health. You cannot achieve good health without good diet. Absolutely. You also cannot achieve sports performance without enough fuel 
to perform the given tasks. To weigh 200 or 300 or 400 pounds, you have to eat commensurately. You have to eat that much calories, that much food, fuel. But this idea that diet is everything and I'd rather miss a meal than a workout, that's stupidness. That is the talk of someone trying to sell you something. Namely, whatever it is they're trying to get you to eat. Okay, Training first, nutrition second, um, the evil genius sports performance uh, mindset, we consider you know, pharmacology, if a person's going to use that, we consider that as part of diet because the true Latin root of diet is lifestyle. It's everything you eat and everything you do. It's what makes up the foundation of you. So this brotastic idea that diet is everything has to go. You have to think clearly. Diet is not everything. Training is everything. The desire and the intellect to get it done, everything. Okay? All the pieces must fit together, make a complete package. It is an integrated whole. It's training. It's nutrition. It's supplementation. It's pharmacology. It's restoration. It's doing all the right things to get all the right answers. Anytime anybody tells you anything, any one thing is the thing, they're lying to you. Okay. In the case of sports performance, training is absolutely the most important because training generates the need and then you must supplement or fulfill the need. Okay. Without training, eating 5,000 calories a day will make you a big fat ass. Yet, with the stimulus of training, the demand, the need of training, there are many people that eat five and more thousand calories a day. Okay. So it's training first and everything after that, but you can't say one thing is the thing. Because even just training, if you train like a madman and don't eat and don't do restoratives and don't do the necessary things, you're going to get hurt, you're going to get sick because your health will fail. Diet makes health. Health allows for performance. Training first, everything else second. Please lose the brotastic mindset. Think clearly. Talk to real experts. And it all becomes very clear. B. Chavez. Evil Genius Sports Performance. Until the next time, stay strong.